Hey guys, I figure while I've got the holiday chassis out and the boards are still not wired back in, it'd be a good time to work on this, which is one of my tandem sets. This is the one I did a video on a while ago where I got it partially working. This set had also been in a fire. I've done some cleaning, but you can see when you compare them side by side, this one's a bit blackened here and there. Uh, so, I think I will start out on this board and see evidence of repairs. Whoever worked on this did not remove the board. They just clipped out a few parts on the top. Got a couple orange drops in here. This cap needs to be a thousand volts or better, so it looks like they put two caps in series to get the right voltage rating. I'll be replacing that, of course. And you can see here something kind of interesting. This is one of those K networks and a resistor has been sort of tacked on there. So I'm curious when I pop this out and measure it, is one of these resistors so far off that somebody had to bridge it with an external resistor? There are subtle differences between these two sets. This is a 9L37 chassis. This is a 9L38 of course, it's got the socket up here for the plug into the CRT, but even on the boards, there are some minor differences. Tube lineup's a bit different, too. For example, this has a 12CA5 audio output tube. This has a 5AQ5. And uh, in, in total, it actually has, I think, one or two more tubes. At least one more, for sure. Uh, let's see, here's the tube lineup. That's because it has one tube inside of the CRT housing. Because this has a 25 foot cable on it. And after the video signal propagates through all that, they need to amplify it a bit more before driving the CRT. So, it's a little amplifier board inside the CRT housing. Hopefully the power switch on this one is good. Still haven't been able to fix this one, but I still have some hope. Um, so, I will start unraveling these wires. I'm not going to tag them like I did before, though. I will take a bunch of reference photos, and it, it's not too hard to, to rewire these once you get the hang of it. Because these wires are different colors. And, uh, for example, like when I take this off, I'll take a reference photo. I know the yellow wire goes back here, the orange wire goes right here. So, I don't think I need to go quite the lengths I went to before. This one still has the original fusible resistor. And, as I recall, underneath, still got thermistor. It's been replaced, though. Original probably went out at some point, so I better double check that cold resistance and make sure it's an appropriate replacement somebody's already replaced uh, these power resistor sections I left the old one in for some reason seems like a really really bad idea to me because these are just wired in parallel with it now I, I don't doubt that these sections are burned open but you never know when uh, they might start conducting again which could um, increase the current flow and possibly burn out the tubes or at least uh, increase the current through them which would shorten their lives so we'll be cleaning up that goop, that junk I also don't think these are quite high enough wattage rating that's a 10 ohm, which I know that's not right can't see the value on that what is I wouldn't be surprised if they just used three 10 ohm resistors it's supposed to be a 17, a 13, and an 8. So that middle section should be 13, they have 10. I'm kind of annoying the way these are installed. I can't see the friggin' values on them. Yeah, that's a 10 ohm there too. That's supposed to be 17 ohms. Yeah, I just can't see that guy. Whenever I mount new components, I always try to orient them so you can see the value without having to clip a lead. Uh, so, quite a few new caps in here. 
one or two originals. This is the one on the AC line. Definitely want to replace that with a safety cap. And a few, well, it's probably a replacement power resistor. That's possibly an original. Could be the original electrolytics up here. These are the original caps, are the same type in the holiday. Um, but all in all, it uh, looks to be in fairly decent condition. So the top got a bit blackened from the fire, but underneath here it's actually pretty clean. And, uh, <laughs> yuck. The wires in these sets, for whatever reason, tend to be really, really sticky. This one's especially bad, of course, because of the fire, but man, that is nasty. And they're just covered in this sticky, gooey crap. I cleaned up these wires, but I've been using paint thinner. Works quite well. Alright, so, yeah, I'll start uh, unraveling these wires and pop this board out and then blow through, replacing all the resistors and capacitors. And uh, the sockets too. I can see this is the same kind like on this set where they uh, have the thin metal on here that uh, has a tendency to break. Company said good morning, Chime. Said good morning, Captain. Said good morning, Chime. Ain't nothing to matter, Captain, but I just ain't fine. I don't mind working, Captain, from sun to sun. I don't mind working, Captain, from sun to sun. When I want my money, Captain, when payday comes Wreck me all this summer and you started all this fall Wreck me all this summer, started all this fall Now I'm gonna take Christmas in my overhaul Have two good men wanna keep out of town at night. Have two good men wanna keep out of town at night. Just sit a little pork chops to the apple time. Only ten old tell him what a mess that the gather do. But a ten old tell him. Mississippi girl do She will get your money Then poor game at you This one pretty mama Gonna need a friend again This one pretty mama Need a friend again You gonna see this all When you want me to be your friend Tell me one more, what you see last night When your shoes aren't bad, then your skirt don't fit you right Well, that wasn't too bad, pretty much not exactly the same as when I did the holiday set some of the wires were soldered on, so I had to use a little desoldering braid to, before I could unwrap them. Um, 
board looks to be in decent shape. I don't see any broken foil, any broken traces, or any other damage. Alright, so I've printed out uh, schematics and parts locators and so on from the SAM Service Info. So I will start snipping and soldering away.